Hey, what's happening? It's your boy Meal Prep Shot. Ain't none other than Mr. Freak Henry Kimby and Mr. Who Wears Short Shorts. Because tricking ain't tricking unless you got it. It's your boy, Zayzilla, the plant eating gorilla, coming at you with another smooth operator this Sunday. I'm over here at Abuelita's house getting down with the get down. If you didn't know, now you know. The other day I was thinking to myself, a lot of great things came out of Philly, like Will Smith, Kevin Hart, uh, Kobe Bryant, R.I.P. But the most important thing came out of Philly. And that's the Philly cheese stayer. Dating all the way back to 1930, this bad boy has been a staple to Philly ever since. But it's 2020, so it's time that we go ahead and give it a little makeover. And who better than me? The MPV, the most popular vegan. Let's do it, baby. So the first step in making our vegan Philly cheesesteak is taking our onions, fennel, and cumin seeds on a stovetop. I'm gonna use some homemade veggie broth that I have so I can go ahead and prime this up. And then I'm gonna wait for the onions and the seeds to become a little translucent and roasted so we can bring some of that earthy flavor to it. Let's do it. So about after five minutes of the onions and the seeds being on the stove top, they're about ready to go ahead and be put inside of our food processor. Now we're gonna go ahead and add all the other ingredients until everything combines and it's a little saucy. But keep in mind folks, you do wanna be using sparkling water because the carbonation in that is what's gonna help expand the vital wheat gluten once we put that in there. Trust me on it. concoction all nice and saucy it's time to go ahead and add in our vital wheat gluten you just gonna go pour right in there and gonna go ahead into mixing everything right into there it should form into a ball now if it's the mixture still sticky or it's not coming out right it can still be saved just add a little bit of more vital wheat gluten my suggestion is about a quarter of a cup at a time so you don't overdo it if you still want to apply it this is how we're looking when it comes out of our food processor. Next is getting this into six equal parts. Now it's time to go ahead and cook our meat substitutes. I'm gonna be putting this in my Instant Pot on the steam setting for 40 minutes inside of aluminum foil. I'm not gonna fully close it because I want some of that steam to escape and these things are going to expand while in there. But you can use a regular stove top if you don't have an Instant Pot. Just make sure you have it steaming for 40 minutes. And this is your final product once it comes out from being steamed. Next, we'll be cutting these up to make our meat substitute. We'll be using a mandolin, and I'm also gonna be using a kitchen knife, so I can go ahead and cut these in half, and then we'll be going back and forth on the mandolin. Now, if you're using one of these, be careful that you don't cut and lose a finger. And uh, if you don't have one, that's completely fine because any kitchen knife will work as long as you're cutting in thin slices. Now we're almost finished here, folks. Just hold on tight. Once we have our meat substitute sliced up, we we'll move over to our stove top. I'm going to prime it with a little bit of veggie broth. And then I'm going to be adding some peppers and some onions, and as well as which I'm going to be adding some mushrooms. I'm going to wait for that to become translucent, then add in our vital wheat gluten slices, wait for that flavor to combine. And once that's done, I'm going to be adding some Deia mozzarella cheese shreds to the mix so it can become cheesy. So go ahead and let's do it. Now that we have our cheesy treasure, it's time to go ahead and build our hoagie. I'm going to be first using some just mayonnaise to go ahead and coat the insides of our rolls. Now you can use as much as you like. It all depends on how you like it. And then once that's done, we go ahead and put in our filling. Ladies and gentlemen, we are all done with our vegan Philly cheesesteak. Giving y'all a little close up on this bad boy. Check that out. It is B E A beautiful. But now it comes down to my favorite part where I get to try this bad boy out because it looks can be deceiving. Never judge a book by its cover. You gotta read it. So, uh, I'm speechless. 
This is bomb.com. Everything is great. I love the taste of the peppers in there. So it has a little crunch in it. Little hint of the mushroom. That's never a bad thing. This is the bomb.com. This is a game changer. Believe me. Well, I want to say thank you guys so much for going ahead and tuning into another edition of Smooth Operator Sundays. Getting down with your boy. Go ahead and drop a comment. Tell me what you like. Tag a friend. Share the post. Do what you want, but just don't hate on your boy. Y'all take it easy. Keep it safe. Keep it healthy. Stay happy. And always come hungry when you're messing with your boy. Because who better than me? F.